guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i thought we'd do something a little bit more fun a little bit relaxed obviously everything going on right now everything is really really depressing and really sad and we're all just stuck indoors so i thought let's do something that's a little bit silly so in today's video i'm going to be attempting to apply a full face of makeup with my fingertips so this is without a doubt going to be extremely messy extremely weird and i'll probably look like a complete clown at the end of it so if you guys want to see that mess then please stick around and keep on watching i don't particularly use primer anymore just because i've had a lot of issues with primer recently so i'm going to go straight in with the foundation so the foundation that i'm going to be using today is the max factor last and performance touch proof foundation in the shade fair this is kind of my everyday one at the moment just if i need a little bit of coverage so i'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and basically just rub it into my skin and see if i can get this to blend out oh my god this was horrible oh i absolutely hate applying makeup with my fingers especially foundation i try to touch my face like the least amount i possibly can because there's so much bacteria on your hands and then you're going to be rubbing that into your skin and it's going to make you break out but i mean so far that looks okay weirdly enough it's giving me a lot more coverage than this foundation usually would so i like that that actually looks snatched oh my god that actually looks flawless what the hell dude so the concealer I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Age Rewind Multi-Use Concealer. This is in a shade called Ivory for anyone who is curious. I'm not going to lie, I don't know if this is expired. Literally every video I'm like, is this expired? Like, I just don't throw out my makeup. I'm disgusting. So I'm going to apply it a little bit under my eyes like I normally would. On my nose, my forehead. My guinea pigs are angry again for whatever reason. I literally clean them. I give them so much treats. And then I'm just going to tap it. This is more the concealer that I use for highlighting because it's a bit lighter than my actual skin tone. But my normal one, which is the Urban Decay one, I am not going to be wasting it for this video because that is hella expensive. Let's try and blend it into my forehead. This little section here is where I always get the most redness. It's so irritating for my life and just really inconvenient and rude. So I'm going to try and cover that up a little bit. Let's take a little bit from here. I've actually heard from a lot of makeup artists that if you use your ring finger to blend it in, it's meant to warm up the product. And make it melt into your skin a lot more so i'm just going to try and do that now before i go in with powder i'm going to go in with my contour so i thought to make it a little bit easier for myself i would go in with a cream contour which of course i have to use my favorite which is the huda beauty tantor contour and this is in the shade fair this is literally the most amazing contour if you want something that's going to be really bold for going out it's, it's actually insane so this is what it looks like and i'm just going to take a little bit on my finger Hopefully this should work well because it is a very creamy formula and you do not need a lot because it is so, so pigmented. And I'm going to first attempt to do my cheekbone. So, start up here. This is where I kind of normally would contour about there. And I'm just going to use two fingers just to tap it in and hope to God that it blends and I do not look like a clown. Now I'm going to apply that on the other side of my cheek, my forehead, my chin, attempt to do a nose contour and I'll probably speed this up because it's going to take me a long time. Ew, I literally look like I have poo on my chin. Or chocolate. Why didn't I say chocolate? Why Why was that not my first choice? Oh god. I'm doing it again, aren't I? I'm being weird. That was not the best idea. I should have put it higher up. Why did I do it so low down? No! This video is a mess. Like my life in quarantine. <laughs> I laugh, but it's really quite depressing, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes you've got to laugh to stop yourself from crying, really, haven't you? We've all been there. Don't even deny it. You know what I'm talking about. Dude. Well, I've just covered my whole nose and now my face is white and my nose is like tanned great well that was a disaster so now we're gonna move on to powder i have no idea how this is gonna work the powder that i always use for every video and in my everyday life is the koji airspun loose face powder and this looks like that now we have this lot of powder in the lid so i guess i'm just gonna Oh, this feels so wrong. Oh, it feels weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Pat it everywhere. Oh, this is so bad for my skin. Please don't do that at home. Like, please don't copy me because I'm quite honestly the worst role model. And I say this because I do stupid stuff like this. And yes, I am smoothing the powder onto my skin. I, I don't know how else to do it. I, I don't know. Imagine if the whole way through this process, it looks really, really bad. And at the end, it somehow turns out looking kind of good. 
I will actually be shocked. If that happens, you have to give me a like up. Like, I, I deserve this. I deserve this. This is hell. This feels horrible. Please like this video because I go through hell for you guys. I really do. Oh my God, look at this. Look. I look so ugly. <laughs> I don't like it. Make it stop. Try and bake down my nose by putting a little bit of powder here and on the sides. Oh god, this is going so wrong. I've got powder down my boobs. I got powder in my pants. I got I mean I, I do have pants on, not underwear. No, I I do have underwear, but I have pants on. I hate myself. Why why am I like this? Now it's time to go in with bronzer. So the bronzer I'm gonna be using is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because I know this blends like a dream. So I am obviously gonna make this go really, really bad. So I'm just gonna get two of my fingers and swipe into the product and attempt to put it on my face. So let's start with my forehead. I'll just do a couple of taps across here to see if I can kind of like evenly disperse it. And then I guess just smooth it in circular motions. I mean, it definitely needs to be blended out more, but it could be worse again. Could be worse. Or could it? Let me know. Put in the comments what you think of my face right now. How do you think this is going to turn out? Because I have no idea. I don't think it's going to look great though. So the next thing we need to apply is a blush. So the blush I'm going to be using today is the ColourPop Count Me In Super Shock Blush. I absolutely love this one and I always use way too much of this on a daily basis anyway so let's just go crazy with it. Now we have highlighter so the highlighter I'm going to be using is the Iconic London Illuminator Drops and this is, is that the shade name? I think this is the one called Shine so I'm going to be taking a few of those and first off I'm going to drop it on the back of my hand like that and just apply it on my face using my hand. This I would normally kind of use my fingers for anyway, so I can't really see it going wrong. And this is really weird, because when I usually use these drops, yes, I do really like them, but I don't really use them that often, just because I have to put a lot of powder on, and it kind of messes up my skin. But it's blending in really, really well. Like, it's not going cakey like it usually does. A little bit on my nose. This is where it all goes wrong, because my nose absolutely hates liquid highlight, because I'm so oily. It just goes everywhere, and it's a mess. And I still have loads of powder on my nose. Oh my god, my hands actually look disgusting right now. And of course my camera just died. So anyway, I'm back. Now I think we were on to eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow palette we're going to be using today is one of my absolute favourites. It's the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Extender Palette. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's honestly just such a beautiful neutral palette and it works so, so well. If you guys are interested, I did a whole video testing out Kylie Cosmetics. So if you want to see that, definitely check it out after this video. I'll link it in the top and the description down below. But I'm going to go in with some of these eyeshadows with my finger and see if we can blend it. So my favourite colour to usually go in with in this palette is this orangey shade right here. So I'm going to take a little bit there and I'm going to try and apply this all over. Wow, that is pigmented. <laughs> I always forget how pigmented these eyeshadows are. So I'm going to try and apply that all over my lid and kind of tap it almost to blend it up to my brow bone but not going completely up because, I mean, I will look like a clown. But I'm just gonna lightly smooth this over my lid and see if we can sort of blend it out a little bit. Quarantine is really making me do some weird stuff, guys. Like, really weird. I've just not been the same. I mean, I'm weird anyway, like, you know that. But it's just a bit too weird. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade here, and this is more of, like, a ready brown colour. It has a little bit of shimmer in this. I absolutely love this colour. This is actually my favourite out of the entire palette. And I'm going to pack that all over my lid again, but try and make it so it doesn't go above the crease because this is going to be my crease colour. So I really want it to kind of focus in there. This is not going in my crease. Oh my god. I'm just going to kind of get my finger and poke myself in the eye backwards and forwards and hope that that blends it. 10 out of 10, I would not recommend. This is really aching my eyeballs. I mean, you can definitely tell that I'm left-handed because the left versus the right side, none of them look good. Like, none of them whatsoever. But um, this right side is... Oh my god. What have I done? What have I done? I don't think I'm going to attempt any more matte shades. It's just not really working for me, is it? So I'm going to go straight in with the shimmer colour and I'm going to be using this gold colour up here. These are so creamy. Look at that. It's oh, so nice. And I'm going to be packing this all over my lid. I'm really hoping that it covers something up and makes it look 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for. It's going to look bad. I'm not going to be applying any mascara to this look because obviously I can't put mascara on with my fingers. And if I do, I will definitely get an eye infection. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to finish this look off with some lipstick. So the lipstick I'm going to go in with is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is their matte lipstick in the shade Kiss. I absolutely love this one. Look at the packaging. Can we just... Oh, but obviously I can't apply it to my lips. So I'm going to be using my baby finger. Hello, that, that was weird. Again, why why did I do that? And I'm going to be um, rubbing... This is so unsanitary. Oh my God, I'm going to have to like buy some things to sanitize all my makeup. This is so gross. And I'm just going to kind of rub my finger and I guess trying to apply it to my lips. And unsurprising, my lips are crusty, dusty and nasty. So it's just going to... Oh no... I'm actually going to heave. This feels disgusting. Mm, I don't like this. This is not cute, guys. This is not cute at all. If you want me to do more stupid, weird-ass videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below because I am all up for sacrificing my face and my well-being and my dignity if it entertains you. So, this is all for you. Just bear that in mind. I am dedicated. This ain't going well. I don't really know what to do. I'm trying to put it on like you put a chapstick on. And it's just not really working. This is quite a new lipstick anyway. So, it's not going to show up loads. But, that is what it looks like. I'm going to show you guys some close-ups in a minute. So, you can really see the mess. Because, honestly, I feel like the studio lights are really dimming it down. I just saw myself in natural lighting. In the sun. In the daylight. In the garden. And... My god, I've never looked worse. <laughs> Hello, we are up close and personal and it's uncomfortable for us both. So this is what the makeup is looking like. As you can see, my forehead is so freaking patchy. It just did not work with any products. Um, the contour, actually, the contour, I don't think turned out that bad. I feel like I've done it pretty well because it was a cream. The blush, honestly, like... I mean, it's non-existent now, really, isn't it? The highlight just kind of went all over my cheeks. So basically, my whole face is looking like the Tin Man. I don't know if you guys can tell, but where I've been mixing all the products on my fingers to apply it with, I've got creams, I have powders, I have liquids all on my fingers. It's all kind of just made the product separate. Oh my God, look at this eye. Okay, look at this eyeshadow, which isn't great, but I feel like it's not the worst. And then this one. The lipstick isn't the worst. I've definitely got like a bit of mess here and it's transferred. So yeah, I mean, overall it's quite a bit of a mess. Would I go out like this? Absolutely not. I'd probably do my foundation with my fingers again and that is it everything else like brushes all the way okay so that is pretty much it for this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's been like semi entertaining it was definitely a weird experience i will not be doing my makeup with my hands again i could probably get away with doing foundation that is the absolute most i'm willing to go to because honestly the mess on my face is quite embarrassing there is no way in hell i would ever be seen in public like this like it's not happening but yeah i really really hope you guys have enjoyed it it's definitely been a fun and different video to do if you guys did like it please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and make sure you ring the notification bell and send it to you all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos now just quickly before you go i want to say a huge thank you to you guys honestly this morning i almost cried when i woke up like i was so happy so a quick explanation as to why that is is because when i went to bed last night i think i had 1,210 subscribers. I woke up this morning to having 1,342 subscribers. Like, what? We've literally gained over 130 subscribers overnight. That is crazy to me. So I just wanted to say a thank you to you guys for your ongoing support on Twitter especially and of course on YouTube. You honestly are so amazing. I love each and every one of you and honestly I hope it doesn't come across like I take it for granted. Like I really do appreciate people who know me in real life know how important YouTube is to me. So I just want to say a huge thank you. But obviously this is all down to you. This would not be possible if it was not for you watching, liking, commenting, sharing my videos. So thank you so, so much. And of course, to everyone who's new, welcome. I hope you like the videos. And quickly before we end, I just want to add a little shameless self promo. So recently I've gotten to digital art and digital drawing. I'm starting to make all those beauty guru type of like cartoon logo things. And I absolutely 
absolutely love them i posted so many of them on twitter i think i've got an example on the community tab on my channel but i'm actually selling them now so if you guys are interested in buying any of those feel free to message me on twitter if you want to look into them i can show you the price and stuff like that i'm also doing a giveaway where i make someone a cartoon version of themselves like i'll show on screen here and by the time this video goes up that would already have been announced and if you guys are interested in me doing more giveaways on the digital art that i've been doing then please let me know in the comments down below and i'll make sure that i do more of those for you in the future but that is pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for your support and love as always i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next weird possibly cool video Bye.